There are many creatures on the arcs, ranging from the simple dodo all the way to the colossal titans, and today we will begin an epic new journey to tame every last creature on the arcs. But there is a twist, we must tame all of them in alphabetical order. So without further ado, let's begin our journey in A to Z arc. The first creature we have to tame is the sluggish snail known as the Akatina, and to tame the Akatina we will need crops, sap, honey and stimulant, so preparations are in order. Before we could tame anything, I decided to do a note run so I could get a bunch of levels so I wouldn't die every two seconds. After finishing up my note run, I headed over to Aberration to set up a small base so that I would have access to honey. Whilst looking for a drop to head to Genesis 2, I found a bunch of drake eggs. Yeah, by found I mean stole, but they would have spoiled anyway, so I'm a hero really. I ended up giving them to someone nearby and they gave me crop seeds in return. I then spent 3 days farming drops on Genesis 2 in search of weapons and fertilizer and after a long time of searching it eventually paid off. Once back on Aberration my neighbour gave me more seeds and tried giving me a magma saw which I of course had to decline. I explained to him why and after he left I set up a greenhouse with the materials I got from drop hunting on Genesis 2. Once the greenhouse was all up and running, I headed over to Genesis 1 to run missions and farm points so that I could buy stim berries, sap and a few cryopods. Once back at base, I made the required stimulant to make ourselves some veggie cakes. So guys, I think I finally almost got all the stuff I'm going to need to uh, tame myself an Akatina or two. But I'm going to go for some high level ones. So we're going to need a lot of veggie cakes here. And as you can see, uh, I've been very busy with the Gen 2 and farming and all that jazz. Um, it's taken me about three or four days to gather all this stuff, but we got our sap, our crops in here. And the main thing I want to show you is what we got from the Gen 2 drops, because I haven't shown you that yet. 
yeah so it went pretty well as you can see industrial cooker in here that uh we got a tech uh what is that called again hover sale and we got all of this stuff all of this stuff oh no that's fertilizer but yeah i got a little bit carried away as you can see and that's this isn't even it we got loads of saddles here astra delphi saddle which we're going to be taming soon so that's helpful uh in a couple of episodes yeah and just so many saddles that we are going to need and that isn't even it yet we got all of this armor which i got from the drops and i even got the load up manquins from the drops as well and i got all of these weapons so if you're wondering how i've like made this much progress this quickly is gen 2 just gets so much loot and so much profit and there's a couple of bits in here and we got ourselves an auto turret but next on the agenda i need honey i've got everything else for sweet veggie cakes and as you can see we've got plenty of crops going in here which is taking quite a while but all we really need now is to go and collect a little bit of honey from just up there um there's a beehive and then we can go ahead and um make some sweet veggie cakes and go and tame some acatinas so as you can see here there's a beehive just here and that's the main reason i built on aberration is because there's access to honey easily without having to climb up trees and stuff oh but oh my god i actually managed to get away that time is that because i was wearing ghillie maybe it was oh is that what you have to do does ghillie protect you from getting from beehives i didn't even oh that's a lot of ravagers yeah that's not good Please, no. These Ravagers are OP, man. They're absolutely right. But yeah, I'm going to keep grabbing honey. And then we're going to... And then we'll go ahead and head over to the center, I think I'm going to head over to. To get um get ourselves some snails. I'm going to head over to the snow biome. Because in, in that map, it's right next to the swamp. And it spawns a bunch of... A bunch of uh, snails and it's usually the best place and Santa has good levels and we're probably going to live on there too so i'll probably bring my motorboat over which i got from the drops and we'll head over there i'm just going to keep farming the honey here and once i've got enough we'll go ahead and uh, make a bunch of veggie cakes so i've been farming this honey for longer uh, longer than i thought it would take actually probably about an hour and a half probably two hours maybe even longer but yeah let's get all of it out here we've got 45 of the stuff hopefully it lasts long enough in my inventory and i've got all of our ingredients here um to make ourselves some beautiful beautiful um veggie cakes so we can get ourselves some acatinas yeah but look they only last five minutes and if you're wondering where i got all the fertilizer i got that all out of a drop as well and i forgot to tell you i've made some beer we got four beer liquid in there and if you come over here we got 15 beer so that will give you kind of an idea of how long i've been doing all this stuff but yeah let's uh see how long it right here it goes our first one how long does it last an hour and 20 minutes yeah we should be good then right now i'm just gonna keep loading up the uh honey and making veggie cakes and then we're gonna go ahead head over to the center and take ourselves some acatinas it's taken me days to get to this point and we're finally here i'm over here on the center and we're about to tame myself an Akatina, and I'm hoping it spawns me in the right place. And nothing's gone wrong, because sometimes it spawns you in the wrong place, you know how Ark is. Um, yep, yeah, right, we're here. This is the correct location, now we just got to try and find a snail in this blinding rain. I've got my net gun, but I accidentally lost one of my long nets, because it had a timer on it and I didn't notice. Oh, there's a snail right here. 130, scripted. <laughs> yeah, that's really... Okay, that's bad. That's less, that's less good. But yeah, get lost, buddy. Uh, that just moves. I'm guessing it can't bite me. It just knocked out this for me. <laughs> okay, then. Um, how do we deal with this? I haven't even got a melee weapon. Oh, you know what it is, boys. <laughs> Chainsaw time. Sorry, buddy. I haven't really got a weapon. Yeah, like I said, I lost my long neck. Which was kind of sucky, not gonna lie. Is this thing gonna die? It looks bloody. Yep, there we go. Of course it was a 145. Um, I'm guessing we'll just tame this. Uh, I don't know what the taming effect of this is on it. 
Uh, I guess we'll find out. Hopefully we can check before it eats anything. We can't. We have to wait before it eats something. And I've got some narcotic here. But yeah, I just want to see this effectiveness. How long till it takes a bite? Really doesn't like this area. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's pretty... Pretty scuffed. But once this guy takes his first bite, we can leave him. We can just leave him and then we'll um, keep coming back. Right, plus 64 levels, which I think that means it didn't actually lose anything, which is kind of insanity. That's really lucky. Uh, yeah, 10 cakes is enough there. Um, I'll pop a bit of narcotics in it and we'll go ahead and look for another one. I am a bit concerned about just leaving it there, but let's go ahead and have a little look around for another one. Uh, hopefully we don't have to look too far. So I've been looking for a while now, guys. I've had, really had no luck with uh, finding any more snails, but um, this area's been kind of scuffed. I've had to kill a bunch of titan birds and stuff. And sorry about my phone there, guys. Super, super sorry. But yeah, this guy's just about to tame up here, which is nice. Um, I'm not too sure how much food it has to starve down before it eats, but it shouldn't need any more narcotic. But yeah, I've also died a few times. I'm not, I don't think I uh, mentioned, but I am on official here, and I am... Um, and it's currently the two times Evo event, so those are the rates if you're wondering. Um, he should tame up any moment here. I'm not too, I think it might have to. Yeah, there we go. And luckily that has a cooldown, and we still have 17 cakes, so that is nice. A 193, nice. I don't know if I just mentioned, but I, but I, I um, I made a canoe which, so we can get out of here easily. Uh, yeah, the stats don't matter. He's got 800 weight, and I know you can breed these things now, which is nice, but I don't think they have a gender, which is also nice, because it means we don't have to worry about getting a male and a female, and it's laid me some paste already. Brilliant. First tame uh, will mark this uh, very, uh, very important video kind of thing, because um, this series will be going on for probably... Pfft, uh, one up until at least until the release of Arc 2, maybe after that as well, depending on how Arc 2 plays and, every and everything. But yeah, let's go ahead and um, look for another one. I did just see one that was just been knocked out by a time bar over here, but don't know if it's a good one or not. And it looks like they don't attack them when they're knocked out as well for some reason. But I don't think that is a thing. Yeah, look, it's right here. Or is it just in its shell? Oh, God, I'm tying bows. My harpoon launch is going to break in a minute. Oh, it's a 130 as well. Which is nice. And it might have been knocked out before, considering there's titan bows in the area. Maybe. But yeah, this will do. It's, they're not crazy levels. And the most, for the most part, it will be getting 150 creatures with most other creatures, but for these, not so much. Just let him be for a minute. Uh, has he been knocked out before? No, he hasn't. Stamina's drained though, so I'm guessing a cat bro messed with him. I need to try and kill this thing now without this parasite getting involved. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. I hope not. But yeah, I've got, I've got to try and babysit this one now. Um, I can't believe we got two 130s that quickly. I mean, higher level ones would have been nicer, but they will do the job just fine, I think. And if there's any low level ones, I might as well get another low level one too. But yeah, let's just go ahead, pop the cakes in. I might actually starve this one down because it's in a pretty scuffed area. So that's just, I don't know why I've given it that. But yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on this one for a while. Let it starve down. It needs to starve down a thousand food, I believe. Um, where'd it go? Here. Yeah, I think it... No, it needs to starve down 2,000. Okay, I'll have to fully starve it down, feed it, and then it will still need a couple more bites. So, yeah, it's going to be a while here, guys, but I'll be back when it's ready to be fed. Okay, so this last one here is uh, just one bite away from being tamed, which is nice. And we've still got seven cakes here, and I think this one's going to have two spare cakes. So, we're going to have about nine cakes spare, so we might be able to get ourselves, like, a... 120 level 100 maybe like level 90 maybe a couple low level ones or something we'll just have to see and it depends if i can be bothered it's so cold over here and i just keep dying constantly and it's not a good look and it's stressful in this area man because every time i die i've got to try and make sure 
The snail's not getting munched by something. Uh, how's your torpor doing? You should be good, right? There's a dillo there, but other than that, things look pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just got to start down a little. I think it should eat just now, actually. Uh, yeah, any minute. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We've got two cakes left, so that gives us nine cakes. So we might as well have a little look in the area and see if we can find another one. And let's see if any of these lost levels now. We'll be able to see if we got the maximum levels that we could out of them. So this one's a 194, 193, and one, I don't know if, why one lost levels. Maybe I, I know why, because I tried netting something and then the net hit it and it lost the level. Yep, so that's not really a problem. That's a dire wolf, okay. But yeah, I've got a canoe here. I'm not putting stuff in the canoe because a couple months ago, I made an episode, another episode like this, um, where I got 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 the Ecotinas in the first episode and after getting them I put them all in the canoe logged off well DC'd actually logged back on the canoe had vanished and so did all the stuff and that was um not a good feeling to be honest yeah but I'm gonna have a little look in the area see if I can find a lowish level one and we'll go ahead and tame that one too and then I think we'll call it quits for uh uh, snail taming. I tell you what guys, I've actually changed my mind. I'm not going to get another one because I've just remembered we need to actually be able to feed them still because they still eat sweet veggie cakes after they've been tamed. So we'll have to keep hold of the veggie cakes for now. But one of the rules is, which you was seen in my introduction video, is we are only allowed to tame the creature of the episode in that episode and then we don't get to go back and tame anymore so these will be the only snails we ever tame and if they die they die that's it that's over they're dead gone deleted and that's just gonna be how it is but yeah guys i hope you have enjoyed this video uh sorry if i'm a bit quieter in this one i haven't recorded in like it's gotta be two months at least probably three months to be honest since christmas to be honest but yeah, I hope I have done alright here. I haven't recorded in a while and it's, it's, it's getting back into the groove of things today. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, it is a bit of a different style, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have, please drop a like. It helps out so much, more than you can imagine. Um, oh yeah, one other thing. I'm going to set up main base with all the Genesis 2 stuff in between episodes. Because this is a taming series, you won't really see anything except taming in this and probably the odd breeding with like reapers and wyverns and stuff but yeah you it's just taming focus but i hope you guys have enjoyed the video like i said if you have uh please drop a like i know it's a different style but i hope you guys have enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys in the next one